Good morning, everybody. Um, it is Thursday, and uh, our reading today comes from Matthew 22, 1 through, or 24, 1 through 14. So listen for God's word. As Jesus came out of the temple and was going away, his disciples came to point out to him the buildings of the temple. And then he asked them, you see all these, do you not? Truly I tell you, not one stone will be left here upon another. All will be thrown down. And when he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us when this will be, and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? And Jesus answered them, Beware that no one leads you astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Messiah. And they will lead many astray, and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars, and see that you are not alarmed, for this must take place. But the end is not yet, for nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All this is but the beginnings of the birth pangs. And then they will hand you over to be tortured, and will you put you to death, and you will be hated by all nations because of my name. And then many will fall away, and they will betray one another and hate one another. And many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And because of the increase of lawlessness, the love of many will grow cold, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. And this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed through the world as a testimony to all the nations, and the end will come. This is the word of the Lord. Yeah. Now, when I first saw that that was the reading for today, I, like many of you, thought, oh, he should probably just skip that. And I thought about it. But... Let's uh, let's look at a couple things. One, there has been no society that didn't think the world was going to end during their time. We as humans are just that way. Uh, we can't imagine the world uh, not ending with us. And so, uh, you know, we we always look. We want to look at all the things happening around us and say, "Oh, this must be it. This must be the end." But family, they people thought it was the end when Halley's Comet showed up. People thought it was the end when um, the Spanish flu came and World War I was happening. People thought it was the end um, at Y2K. Uh, you know, we have this tendency. And I think Christ here is not giving us a list of checks that we need to to look at and watch out for. I think instead, Jesus is reminding us the world is a, a very turbulent place. And we should always be ready for Christ coming back. We don't know when the end is going to be. We do know that there will probably always be wars and rumors of war. There will almost always be earthquakes or famine someplace. But it's interesting that the two commands Christ gives us in the middle of this, the two things Christ reminds us to do is to not be afraid and to endure. And family, I'm going to tell you, I'm seeing a lot of fear out there. I feel a lot of it. But Christ is reminding us to not be afraid because we don't have our hope in in the, the endurance of these human institutions that have been created. We don't have our hope in the endurance of big, fancy buildings or uh, nation states or uh, economies. Our hope doesn't come from those things. Our hope comes from God. Our faith is in God. And so we must always be prepared to spread the news of the kingdom and to endure the hardships because we know that what happens or we believe that what happens in this life is not the final say. I think Jesus gave us these words not as some uh, checklist to watch for the end of the world, but instead as a reminder that the world is not where our hope lies. And it starts off with people in uh, the disciples coming out and pointing out all those great buildings that are around them in the temple and and Jesus basically telling them 
This is all coming down. Nothing is permanent except for God. And we give thanks for that. Let us go to God in prayer. Glorious God, we give you thanks for your permanence, for the faith we have that you are in control. And we pray that you help us to not be afraid and to endure, to grow our faith and to continue spreading the seeds of your kingdom. We pray all this in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Family, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Shalom.